just got us. This is Nilly Last and welcome. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is basically about performing enhancing drugs in esports. Now, don't get me wrong, I know this is nothing new, but it's been blown up quite a lot lately, and that's mainly by a guy of the name of Semphis. Now, he's basically stating that everybody is on Adderall. Now, that basically is for people with attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Now, with that in mind, these guys basically are going to doctors if they're not uh, obtaining it illegally. Going there and saying that they have this condition, they get performed, uh, sorry, prescribed the drugs, and this makes them a better player. Now, they're saying this is the reason why you see all the crazy comms and that, people talking nuts, and this is how it helps them focus, it proves their cognitive ability, if I can get my words out, and all this kind of thing. So, it's been like. It's blowing up to be a major concern, especially for the esports. Because, I mean, nowadays, gaming is, on a whole, is taking off. It really, really is. Let's, let's make no doubt about it. There is a lot of money to be made in gaming nowadays. People from YouTube or whatever else like that are turning to gaming. And these big uh, companies... Oh, there we go. That's lucky. Oh, I hope he takes care of him. Yeah, these big companies have got a lot of responsibilities, I feel. Because, let's make no mistake, I mean... Whoa. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, these big companies have got a lot of responsibilities to, for, the, to, for the kids of today. They really, really do. Because with um, esports at the moment, they don't particularly have any, like drug testing or anything else like that they, they don't condone it but they don't do anything about it they basically turn in a bit of a blind eye to it now this is going to be quite a bit of a problem if they don't sort it out because the biggest thing at the moment is the sponsorships and that's going to be a big 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 problem it really really is because i mean people that sponsor these tournaments are not going to be what i'd be associated with people that do drugs are they Oh, I caught that right up. Um, yeah, they're not going to be associated with those kind of people at all. So they're all going to start, you know, pulling out and what else. And it's going to affect all these um, tournaments and what else. And they're all going to get put off maybe. Who knows? But, you know, they've got to do something about it. Because esports don't condone it. But a lot of companies don't bother. They don't really care. They just, you know, as long as people are playing the games and what else, they can basically just do what they want. Which is not really what we want to be hearing at all. We don't want people to be thinking that they can take perform enhances drugs to be able to do stuff. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, they're no different to, like, well, athletes as a such. Because at the end of the day, they're playing a sport. It is technically a sport. And, you know, they train every day for it. And they, and they get paid for it. They only get paid very, very good money. And especially the boys that are playing, like, Counter-Strike and stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of money. And there's, like, millions of pounds to be made. And if these guys are on performing enhances drugs to be able to win these tournaments, surely that has got to be quite a bit of an issue. It really, really has. Because it's going to filter down for, like, Call of Duty and other things like that. And players that are looked up to, these top pros and people that want to be like these pros... They're going to start thinking that, you know, the only thing that they could possibly do is start taking these kind of drugs. And we don't really want to, you know, be associated with things like that. People going to doctors, making up that they got uh, fake symptoms and want else to be prescribed these drugs. Or quite simply, getting them from the black market as well, which is going to be even more of a big concern. So, with these, taking these tablets, I mean, obviously you're going to have your side effects and everything else to go along with it. And that's obviously another problem because... You know, if people are getting ill and other things just solely from gaming, I mean, it's going to turn its head on gaming as well because it's not just the pro circuit that we're looking at. Because let's look at what well, YouTube in general. Now, YouTube, you make quite a lot of money, people do, from YouTube. And people can spend hours and hours like playing on Twitch and whatnot else. But they want to have the best gameplays in the world. They want to be dropping those DNAs. They want to be doing all this lot. And if they're not doing it, you know, or they're freaking feeling a bit tired. Because even I feel a bit tired as well. I really, really do. I get knackered playing the game and stuff like that. If I had a busy day in work or stuff like that. And if you get a bit tired, you know, a bit lethargic... A lot of people turn to things like Monster and Red Bull and things like that. Now, let's take 
Now, let's take them into consideration for a start. Now, big YouTubers are actually sponsored by these, by these companies. And... Is it a good thing also with them? Because let's be honest, young kids are drinking them by the gazelle. I have to keep telling my teenage son off for drinking them. I don't agree with them. I don't like them. But people like, are sponsored by these companies. And they drink them and that. And it keeps you alert and aware and stuff like that. But they have a lot of eff side effects as well. Hell of a lot of sugar. A lot of caffeine and stuff like that as well. So there's a lot of things on that side that, you know, kids are thinking that this is the way to go. You know, pumping out loads of monster, pumping in loads of Red Bull, you know, getting all caffeined up to try and play a computer game. Now, personally, I don't like any of this stuff. I don't like Red Bull. I don't like monster. I don't like energy drinks as a whole. Oh, he's going to do me. He's going to do me. I knew it. Yeah, I, I don't particularly like him as a whole. Now, it's for me... I, I get my awakeness and stuff like that. I, I, I get up in the morning, I train at like half past five. I do a lot of work and stuff like that on me. And I eat really, really well. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I don't get me wrong, I have takeaways and stuff like that. But in general, I like to keep myself pretty in good shape, so to speak. I, you know, I, I, like, I like to look after myself. And through that, I have quite a lot of energy. I really do. I mean, I get up at half past five and I go to bed roughly about... Whoa, 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 there we go. Um, yeah, I get about half past five. I don't know why I did that that way. I don't know. Um, yeah, I get about half past five. And I don't go to bed till about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. And I, I feel pretty good. I, I really do. I don't, I don't feel too bad from it. So I'm hoping that, you know, that's what we need to be promoting. And not Anadrol in playing gaming, man. Imagine you going to your doctors and making up stuff just to be able to be alert and awake, just to keep on par with these other players. It's crazy. But leave it in the comment section below and let me know about what you're thinking about this, guys. Coming up on my screen now is the subscribe button. Jump on that. And if you can like this video, it'd be absolutely amazing. This is Nidhi Lass and I'll catch you later.